simple. They're all the most beautiful young kids will get to see each other all members. Very easy. There's going to be uh, five, five categories. One, the first one will be the traditional gown. Now this will count to 40% of the audience. Then there'll be a little spelling bee. People will get a couple chances to get the word right. And then we'll have a little talent show. Finally, the kids will come up in an evening gown. That'll come for 60% of the audience. And lastly, they'll each get to answer a question and we'll have a great interview. So there's a total possibility of about 200 points. We will have two winners in each group. The Miss Elegance and Miss Talent. There are three groups Little Miss Willoughby, Junior Miss Willoughby, and Miss Steve. All the kids who compete today are winners. They are all first class young ladies. And it's wonderful that we can have kids like this. This way a little. Look at the judges. There you go. Turn around. And her parasol. Okay. That's for keeping all the guys away. All right. There you go. She's going to get with her tie. That is Gabriella Blanche. We had in the background Peyton Boyce. But Peyton, it's way past her bedtime. So I don't think she's going to make it out tonight, judges. So you might want to put a little star by her name. Right. Yes, I hear my name back there. Is she coming out? No? Peyton? No? Okay. All right, next we're going to ask Marvik Florista. She's representing the province of Sambuanga. She's escorted by her brother, RJ. Right, RJ? RJ told me back behind the stage that he was going to trip his little sister. See, you're in the spotlight now, RJ. All right. Marie, how do you spell your name? So how do you say it? Mervic. Mervic is wearing a kimono style dress, ingeniously used pineapple leaves. Filipinos of today wear informal and dressed occasions. Also, this type of clothing are usually used during performances, such as... Okay, Mervik, you're going to have to help me with this, hun. How do you say this over here? Where are you going, hun? Come here. How do you say this? A performance such as... Salokat Pinasuan. Is that right? Pretty close, huh? All right, let's give her a hand, judges. <laughs> the 
those are our contestants for the Little Miss team at Miss Philippines. Now we're going to move to category B, the Junior Miss team Philippines. Our first contestant, RJ, you did really good, RJ. This way. Representing Cebu City is Stephanie Gustav. Stephanie's escorted by her dad, Myron. Stephanie wears a traditional Igaro dress consisting of green, red, and a cream striped skirt with matching lapis. Accompanying the dress is a traditional turban and clay pot which she is carrying. This is Stephanie Stop. Contestant number two in the Junior Miss Team Philippines, representing the province of Abra, is Jessica Escobar. Escorted by her dad, Joker. This is a traditional Muslim costume she's wearing. Blue satin traditional Muslim called Milan. It's a two-piece ensemble. The blouse has a neckline with gold sequins sleeve and hemline. The pants are adorned with four different fabrics. Jessica's costume is finished with genuine jewelry from the Philippines. Once again, Miss Jessica. Thanks, boss. 
All right, we're going to pull from the basket. Is that what we're going to do? All right, I'm going to come on this side. Contestant, the first one to come out would be Gabriella. Hey, Gabriella. Drum roll, everybody. Philippines 
Welcome to the stage, Stephanie Fustal.
Adams doing not only a hip hop, but a rap hip hop.
to the evening gown competition. I'm going to start out with category A, the Little Miss Philippines. First contestant is Gabriella Blanchard. We got some music back there, Joe. Here she comes. This is from the New Girls Boutique Collection. She's wearing a satin A line ivory evening gown. This elegant sleeveless dress has spaghetti straps with a straight neckline. The bodice is embroidered with flowers and embellished with hand sewn beads. Beneath the bodice is a bow adorned with rhinestones. The back has a beautiful sash that ties into a bow and accentuates her waistline with a built in slip, half knitting to give added volume to the dress. The gown comes with a matching satin ivory shawl that can also be used as a scarf.
full line gown is constructed from a poly satin blend, extended by a pleated bust with a cutout keyhole center, a separate halter with button top enclosures, empire waist with side gallery, and a rear invisible zip closure. Ms. Raquel Whitehall. Team Philippine category, Ms. Nakia Adams.
Little Miss Why Philippines. Contestant Gabriella Venture. Hey, Gabriella. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to wait for the background music. Are we there? We're there. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to walk the stage as I talk about her, right? Gabriella Blanchard was born on April 3rd, 2001, in Chicago, Illinois. She's the daughter of Rosa Reeve and Douglas Blanchard. Gabriella is a second grade honor student at Boverty Creek Elementary. Her favorite subjects are music and science. Gabriella has been in ballet since the tender age of three. At the age of six, she auditioned for Ballet San Antonio's Nutcracker and earned a spot in the production. In the same year, Gabriela was invited to join the San Antonio Dance Ensemble. She also started gymnastics at age four and was chosen to be on the Olympic Tots program under Nalimar Martin, four-time Olympic gold medalist at Brown's Gymnastics Junior Olympic Training Facility. At age five, she joined the National Champions All-Star Cheerleading Squad at Pinnacle Cheer Company. During her two years there, she earned six national titles in cheerleading. She enjoys reading, dancing, singing, acting, gymnastics, basketball, and most importantly, she has, the most important thing is spending time with her friends. Ms. Gabriela Student. 
She's been in the Gifted and Talented program since the first grade. This year she is in the Math and English pre app classes and was offered to be in the Science and Texas History pre app classes. Jessica loves to draw, read, create computer graphics and websites, dance and sing, play sports and video games. She also watches a lot of cartoons because she would like to be a cartoonist or a computer graphics designer. She listens to hip hop, rap, and R&B, and these genres of music is also what she likes to dance to. Other than modern dance, she also dances the Philippine folk dances. Jessica is a member of the Philippine American and San Antonio dance troupe performing annually at the Texas Folk Life Festival and the State Fair in Dallas, Texas. Jessica dances the Sabuli, Kuku, the Polka Salsa, and the Scarf Dance. Don't say all those right. So far, so good. Okay, good, thanks. She is currently learning how to dance the Tanigali, and just recently she's been practicing with the Salayan Dance Group, which has been very, 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 very fun. <laughs> Raquel Cuellar is the name given to her by my lovely mother, Lilia Cuellar, and my handsome father, Robert Cuellar. She was born in Yokota Air Base, Japan, on January 15, 1992. She's 16, resides in Hondo, Texas. She's the youngest of three children, one sister, one brother. Raquel's a student in Hondo High School. She's been placing honor classes throughout her school years and has maintained over average scores on every report card, even though she has been taking advanced classes. Being in junior in high school, she plans to attend the University of Texas San Antonio after she graduates in 2010. Raquel enjoys helping people and plan to go into the radiology profession so she can help doctors evaluate people's conditions. During her relaxing time, she loves being outdoors. Whether she's doing her homework, chasing her dogs, playing some sort of sport outside where you'll find her. That's it, if it's after nap time. Raquel weekly life consists of band, choir, school, and church-related clubs, homework, and plenty of homework. Although Raquel may be busy during the week, she may sure to make time for her friends and family. Playing basketball and adventuring are two of Raquel's favorite things to do. She loves being mischievous in parentheses, in a good way, and loves to smile and makes it seem like she's up to something. She thanks her friends and family for all of your support throughout her life. Thank you, PWA, for your encouragement and support to continue in my education. Ms. Raquel, we are. In the Miss Team category, Nakita Adams. California on December 8, 1992. I'm proud to say my parents are Ephraim and Anna Risa, Anna Risa Adams. Also having a younger sister named Kiana. Kiana. My grandparents in California are Frank, Frank Sr. and Alice May Adams. And my uncle and Yaya in San Antonio are Albert and Hula. Okay, I'll say the last name. Ryerson. Okay. I'm a sophomore at Byron B. Steele High School. She plays junior varsity basketball, runs track, and a second degree brown belt in karate. This is cool. In my spare time, I enjoy listening to music, spending time with my family. That includes my godparents, uncles, aunts, and their families. I go to San Nino Catholic Church and help with fundraising by preparing and serving food to the congregation. I enjoy doing this because it makes people happy and raises money for the church. I was born with a ventricular septal defect, heart murmur, that required an open heart surgery to repair at the age of 16 months. After the surgery, my daddy taught me how to walk, stimulated my memory, and explained what happened to me and why. 
I thank my parents for being so strong and wise because their decision to deliver the young lady that you see here today. I consider myself the luckiest and most blessed person on our planet, as well as the most loved. Someday I want to visit the Philippines to learn more about our culture that my mother and I are so proud of. My short-term goals are to attend UCLA and major in
a little miss. Are you ready? Come on. Miss Sparkles. In the traditional costume and evening gown competition for Little Miss Philippines goes to Gabriella Blanchard.
I think that deserves a big round of applause, everybody.
For all the contestants, please go back up to the stage. All the contestants, please go back up to the stage. Thank you.